26 years old. I'm a psychiatrist and an addictologist and a psychiatric patient and a, an addict in recovery. So I think my place in the health care, in the psychiatric care, in the addictive care in Budapest in, is, uh, well, a little bit different. It is so important for me to mention that uh, once a time I was a patient, I have my own troubles and I need to work with them day by day. I started to work as a uh, GP, as a psychiatrist 18 years ago at the Miragula Hospital, which is now this OPIE, National Institute of Psychiatry and Addictions. And uh, I started at the addiction department, which is, which, is a, which is the biggest addiction department in Hungary. It is 100 beds and four different sections, outpatient uh, centers, inpatient center, community center, we have methadone program, a recovery program, 12-step programs, uh, psychotherapeutic awards. So I think we cover all the addictive uh, paletta in, uh, in which, it, which can be reached uh, today in, in Europe. So, uh, and Two years after then I started to work at the psychiatry, at the addiction department, I started to work here as a psychiatrist and I, I met a whole different world here in Megalo because, because at the hospital I was used that I'm the doctor who is going, who make decisions, all the decisions were made by the psychiatrist, nothing, uh, um, nothing else, else was able to make great decisions except the doctor then. And I think these things doesn't change in the next 15 years. But uh, I started to uh, come here once a week to see the Megalos patients, the new patients arriving, and my job was only to observe them, to have a little chat with them, and to see if they need a serious uh, psychiatric uh, um, support. Uh, I mean, especially the psychotic, psychotic patients, bipolar patients who have, who have, uh, who need. Uh, medication for example but uh, it was a, a new uh, um, way of thinking about uh, addictive patients and psychiatric patients here because here I learned that uh, in the first hand the community is the one who changed the people who can who, who can uh, uh, help them to have um, another, a better life. And, uh, well, I worked at the hospital 10 years or 13 years. I became a head of department, you know, PhD, teaching, uh, studying, studying. But uh, um, eight years ago, uh, they offered me to be the head of the, the addiction department and it came a big change at the National Institute. I put all what I learned here in Megalo at the hospital and now the hospital department is one of the best <laughs> in Hungary because the community approach is now present at the, at the uh, clinical department. And I think uh, now uh, uh, the OPAI uh, addictive department is one of the, the um, uh, most uh, better uh, um, addictive <coughs> departments. Only in the first hand because of this, 
because we don't have only the uh, medical approach we have only uh, we have in the first hand the community approach psychotherapy group therapies and so on to have uh, um, um, programs as well and uh, I think our uh, cooperation with Magalo is still a day by day cooperation and it works better because uh, we can share our our experiences I can tell you day by day so uh, I have a few um, um, this short presentation about our ward and only a, a few words about uh, addiction and uh, dual diagnosed therapy and at the end the most uh, interesting part some case studies because because I think they are the, the most interesting part um, we know you all of you you are working in addiction uh, field so this uh, information will not be uh, some something very exciting for you but uh, these are uh, the introduction so we have a compulsive behavioral problem with the addictive patient but uh, beside of that we, we all know that addiction it is, it is a community problem especially the problem of the family so when uh, one is one uh, 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 people from uh, um, the family is with addiction we is addicted we need to treat all the family and uh, that's why uh, at the hospital and here too uh, it is very important for us to uh, um, treat the relatives too here in Megalo we have especially youngsters but at the uh, National Institute we treat also um, patients who, who are 60, 70, 75 years old. Uh, my oldest patient um, with alcohol dependence was 73 years old, uh, a teacher from, from a little town near Budapest. And now uh, she came to our department five years ago and she's sober uh, since five years. She's with a family at home and she is very okay with this situation. So I think this is a very important uh, problem with the addicted patient that when uh, comes the feeling that I need to, to change. I have uh, that, that uh, strong feeling that something needs to change. Then we need to, uh, uh, we, we need to uh, have uh, an institution or a treatment who can be uh, uh, for that person, uh, especially for him or her. So, uh, a few words, yes, about dependence. And uh, our biggest problem at the National Institute is when uh, we have to deal with several uh, problems uh, at the same patient especially uh, the so-called dual diagnosed patients and it is very complicated because uh, when I w go around the uh, country and I see different psychi psychiatric uh, institutions or addictive uh, wards I, I see different uh, ways of dealing with these uh, complicated problems. 
So there are colleagues, there are words when everything is about medication. And there are others when everything it, it is about 12 steps programs. And third one, it is everything about psychotherapy because yes, we have two or three uh, options of psychotherapy and uh, they, they, are, they are providing only psychotherapy. And I think it is not the, the, the ideal way of approaching because uh, now in the 21st century we have to face that the client have, uh, has something in his head so they have their own needs so they come to the hospital to have medication for addiction to have a 12-step program for medication and nothing else is good for them so uh, we need to deal with them like uh, with partners not like uh, 20, 10 or 15 years ago when I was the doctor then we have this and be satisfied be satisfied because we don't have nothing else to uh, to <coughs> you. so uh, that's why I think is it, it it is very important also at the hospital but also here to have uh, these different approaches which is quite complicated because uh, we need this different kind of uh, health, uh, professionals in the team and it is quite complicated in a little uh, uh, institution like Megalo to have the medical approach and you know and so on that's why uh, I think that the most important approach for us it is to cure the addicted patient, patient in a warm, welcoming community, and I think this is this is uh, this is uh, very important also, or especially in the uh, hospital field when well when this community approach uh, it is not so developed. Because, uh, as I see my uh, my studies, I I didn't had a, didn't study a word about community approach at the medical <coughs> university or at the psychiatric uh, uh, studies. I learned what I know about community uh, uh, programs here and. Um, and in other NGOs, uh, especially. So uh, I think uh, it is very complicated in those institutions when when almost every colleague is a health professional, because uh, at the addicted department there are only two social workers at the one hundred bed department. All the others are nurses, doctors, psychologists, and so on. So, uh, uh, in this way, we, we have a very big need for this community help, this community approach. And this very important help comes from Megalo, from uh, our other partner institutions, uh, who who uh, who are coming week by week to our department they have group therapies there and we have uh, we are in a daily contact with them so we we uh, keep our patients in the hospital program uh, the uh, the shortest time possible because Especially for addicted patients, we don't don't think that the hospital environment it is it, it is good. So we need to stabilize their their uh, problem. But after then, 
uh, we need to uh, uh, transfer them the quick as possible in a more uh, community approached uh, in institution and uh, and that's why uh, I don't think we can exist uh, uh, without uh, institutions like Megalo and this is especially with the youngster clients when 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 the time uh, uh, as we see, these dual diagnosed are uh, very often uh, present. So, you know, uh, <coughs> the uh, most co co coexisting men mental disorders, uh, especially the mood disorders, are present. It is a very important thing that who, uh, which one it was the first the addiction or the mood disorder. It is like the egg and the yes and the bird uh, because uh, me, uh, if I see my case as an addict in recovery, I have all the uh, uh, diagnoses, almost all of them, when I was a user. I used uh, uh, anxiolytics, uh, pot, uh, alcohol, but I'm also a uh, um, uh, workaholic. I, I have problems with shopping, with <laughs> eating, with sports, and uh, movie and uh, television, so I have many other problems. And besides of that, I'm an ADHD patient. I, I, have, I have from my early uh, years, from three, four years old, I have serious attention deficit uh, uh, attention problems, which uh, came after, uh, after a few years of sobriety, uh, after drugs, because when I was using, these problems could be, uh, yes, uh, resolved by some smoking. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, well, six or seven years ago, I quit every uh, addictive uh, substance, only the substances. Mm -hmm. And after then, after a few years, I realized that I, I, I have this... Uh, uh, attention deficit problems too, still, but I can deal with them with more success in a in a uh, friendly environment, in a uh, friendly community. So, uh, oh. Uh, we are also um, used with uh, the pharmacological therapies, in especially in the dual diagnosed cases, because we think that uh, we have in the first hand an addictive patient. We don't use any kind of uh, uh, psychoactive medication. In our hospital ward, the policy is that if we have uh, uh, an inpatient uh, came to us for uh, rehabilitation, we reduce all the medication uh, and we put apart all the diagnoses uh, uh, who are, uh, which are uh, uh, present in the papers because because I think uh, especially the addic the addicted problem uh, the addictive problem can cause the symptoms of the uh, of this major psychiatric diagnosis but if uh, the patient it is without medication in a friendly environment uh, 
most of the uh, psych uh, psychiatric symptoms can reduce can be reduced or in a few uh, months of uh, rehabilitation this big uh, big uh, psychiatric uh, diagnosis can be left can be put as a part uh, and uh, and uh, we have very many successful cases in this field. Uh, patients who were treated with schizophrenia diagnosed, with dual di uh, with a bipolar diagnosed uh, in psychiatric field, and after then uh, they uh, went to uh, a longer rehabilitation program. They they uh, they can left their own medication and they are sober. They have a friendly uh, community and they are okay without uh, without psychiatric uh, uh, diagnosis and uh, psychiatric medications, but not in all the cases because uh, it is very Im important to uh, say that. There are major cases when we try to reduce the medication. We have this friendly, friendly environment, and, all, and even in these cases, the, the, the uh, patients can uh, relapse, can uh, have again these uh, symptoms only with the uh, major psychiatric uh, uh, problems. But after then, we can deal uh, with the, we can fix the minimum uh, possible medication for them, and they are okay in the uh, uh, in the community. So I think um, these are things that you know already. It is the same in, in, in uh, every country. An uh, addictive patient is a quite problematic uh, um, community. So uh, without the agreement, it is very difficult for us to, to, try, to try to do something. In the most of the cases, the family members are who want to save the patient. I think you you have the same problems as us, but uh, uh, also in these cases, when the savior uh, savior is the mother or the husband, uh, we can motivate them to have this uh, this. Uh, uh, motivation to change. Um, there are a few behavioral uh, recommendations. As I told you, we have uh, uh, group therapies for them. Uh, and uh, the positive, the, the friendly environment also can change, can enhance the motivation. Prohaska di Clemente, you know, uh, when uh, when someone wants to change, the first phase is the contemplation, determination, and so on and so on. Uh, we can um, uh, we can start uh, the treatment, the, the rehabilitation when. Uh, the patient is at least at the second phase when when the the motivation it is a little bit stronger. Yes. this. My time is quite up. So. <coughs> Yes, and at least the case studies, the first one is mine, as I told you. Uh, I, I, I started 
I was born in Transylvania um, and, I, uh, and I finished the medical university then. After then I started to work in Budapest at the uh, psychiatric hospital and at the addiction department. And after 10 or 13 years I realized that I have problems too with this, uh, yes, with this uh, uh, topic. And after then, I went to the other part of the desk, not with, not that one with the recipes, but <laughs> the one for the patient. And after one or two years of rehabilitation, I went back. So uh, it is a circle in my life, in my life always. And after then, I cared with the addiction. And after then. Uh, after two years of sobriety came the ADHD symptoms and after then and I went with some group therapy with, with these two and I think now I'm okay but I don't know what will happen tomorrow <laughs> so this is my very short uh, case study but uh, we have also uh, very um, problematic patients with psychotic problems, especially with schizophrenia. But um, I have an excellent colleague who will be next. Will be the next presenter. Yes, and maybe uh, and she is most better in. Uh, this topic because you know I'm only with my addicted yes community. <laughs> when when it comes to schizophrenia, I'm I'm I'm, I'm not so uh, yes, and I think I'm quite tired now. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> the last one, the bipolar diagnosed patient, it, it is, uh, I had, we have a uh, um, filmmaker who came to us five years ago with, with uh, cocaine addiction and alcohol addiction and we tried, yes, friendly environment, you know, and to reduce the medication and he was sober six months and after then the, the mood, uh, mood problems they reappear and we, we, we need to fix him a medication, a stable medication and since three or four years he is okay with the medication and the 12 steps program he is going uh, like me too, uh, three times a week at Narcotics Anonymous, uh, yes, meetings, and, and he's okay. Uh, as a final word, I don't think uh, we can deal with addiction, only addiction or uh, do a diagnose with, with the help of the community. With the with the help of the of the uh, positive environment. So thank you for listening. That's that was my presentations for presentation for today. Yes. Just, just a comment and a question because I think it's very important what you mentioned uh, to have the, the, the patient, the addicted patient as partner. Uh, you know, I, I think what many, many treatment centers still meet in Europe, so I think it's very important for the planning. But the question is because this is our topic about the new psychoactive substances, so maybe just what is your experience and what impact does it have on the comorbidity here? Mm -hmm. Yes, I think it's a very hard topic, the new psychoactive uh, uh, problem, because uh, the major problem is that the most of our patients are youngsters, 13, 15 years old, when the, uh, in their cases the motivation is very low. So it is very hard for us to motivate them for a change. 
and uh, I, I think uh, it is it is very hard for us because they we can't even reach to to came to us for uh, at the at the department or to uh, provide them any kind of uh, 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 help. We have the student institutions in Hungary. One of them, it was in your planning, I think, to visit for uh, for the addicted youngsters, and they have special uh, recovery program uh, at about uh, three to six months. Yes, when when which is uh, quite different to the rehabilitation programs for the adults. But uh, I think the problem is uh, uh, very big uh, uh, because they are young and because they are out from the cities. So, so in the little communities, uh, especially or uh, very often in uh, the communities with very low income, and they are very difficult to to reach. Yes. Okay. Then thank you again. Thank you. <laughs>